It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the Falcons and the Jags, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, this the first of our international series this year, the Falcons and Jaguars. The Jags, of course, no stranger to these London games. They're a fixture in these parts due to the presence of their owner, Shad Khan. Add in the fact that they're going to be the first team ever to go back-to-back -back here in England. They play the Bills next week, so a very interesting time for this franchise. Not only are they Duval's team, but they're also... set for the first of five international games this season. The Falcons and Jags underway from London. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. As we take a peek at their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native and former Oregon Duck, Marcus Mariota. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown in Aaron Jones, his first rushing touchdown of the year. Falcons will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Wow, first play of the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback at 6-2 out of Auburn. It's Jared Stidham. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. Play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Stidham. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Leonard Williams coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Now Stidham on first down. So we get a traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. That's complete to Troutman right side. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 
Four catches, 52 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. Now Stidham. And he's going to be swallowed down. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Stidham to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. To throw is Stidham. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Mixon with a first down carry. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The Jaguars had 0-3 here to begin the campaign. And you hate to have to say it this early in the season, but getting close to must-win time, is it not? And I totally understand why you expressed it that way, because it's so early in the season, it feels like hyperbole. But I think you are spot on on this one. Yes, there's still time to turn things around. But they've got to start to win right now if they have any hopes of trying to make the playoffs. And Nixon not going to get there. Running into a wall here, and they'll stop him short. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll try and run for it. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short. And he didn't get there. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now Mariota. There's Evans again, complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That time trying to find Gerald Everett, and it's second down. You look at this Jaguar defense. They enter play here 24th in the league against the run. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early success against them, they got to remember they got to sustain it because teams that are top five, they don't stop running the ball. They'll get things done early. On third down, Mario. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And on the last drive... They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? 
I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Play action. It's Stidham. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Davis. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. It's Mixon on the counter, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now it's Stidham. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Taken in at the 11. This will be a 41 yard punt, three on the return. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. First and 10 now for the Falcons and Mariota at their own 14 yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And now a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. So from the 17, here's second and seven. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I'm looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Bryce Hall, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time and, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. So from the 36 now, first and 10. After the interception, here's Stidham. Pass is tipped, but he's still able to bring it in. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A good pick up there, a 22. Sometimes those tip balls turn out to be like a pinball. Just bounce all over the place. Everyone's got to go up and get it. In this case... We talk about tip drills for defensive players like you, but what about the offensive guys? Do they do any tip drill? And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jags are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Now the Falcons' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already. And we've still got three quarters to go. Now an option play on second down. 
And this will be a Falcons first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Nice pickup. 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. Seven seven, our score after one. Second quarter now, Falcon football, as they've got it with a first and ten. In motion right is Evans. And now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And despite a nice juke there, really good move. He only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. Second and nine from the 44. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. And his throw is incomplete. A yeah, good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Mariota to throw it. Over the middle, connecting with Kohler. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And they run the option here on first and ten. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal. as a nice run there and gets him down to the six-yard line. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you get the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. The leading rusher among rookies a season ago. Here's Kenneth Walker. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Mariota. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Bryce Hall. And the Jags are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal, they have a huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll set a receiver in motion to the right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Out 
of the shotgun. They run with Nixon. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Well, now only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it will be Falcon football. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. That's on Pro Bowl center Jason Kelsey. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Bryce Hall there defensively. Mariota now on second down. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The Falcons on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, Mariota. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. A little short pass. This is Edward pushing his way through. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Here's second and ten. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Mariota from the gun on third down. Watkins diving, he's got it. 18 yards there, down to the 18 and a first down. I know every time in ceremonies, a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? I'm, I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now a second and ten. And that's out quickly to Chase. And the agility got him a few extra before he's taken down right at the ten. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. After the penalty, it's Jones. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. 
Now Justin Tucker is out to try to field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Mixon gets the nod to start the drive. Still going. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Stidham sets to throw on first. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Stidham. He'll drop this one down to Mixon, and this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now it's Stidham. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 29-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, a lot of times when you get a magical third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. On first and ten, it's Stidham. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Second and ten. Stidham going back to the air. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Third down, Nixon. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. First down, Mariota. A little short pass. This is Everett. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Mariota now to throw on first down. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. To the air again, Mariota. And that one almost intercepted. Could have been his third pick of the game. Instead, it's going to bring up a third down. On third down, Mariota. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes
it's obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. At that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Tucker's kick is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Jaguars ready to get going to start quarter number three. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. Still second down. On second down, here's Stidham. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Well, he's got the return. It's a loose football inside the 20. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate. But those defenders got to add to the lead directly. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines today. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Let's just call it as we just saw it right there. A breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. Nixon will try the right side. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Stidham. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all 
game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against it, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll start by running the option to the right and holding it maybe the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A quick throw caught by Evans out wide. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Mariota. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's four. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. It says he take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Here's Stidham. This one thrown deep for Schoonmaker, and that's caught inside the 30. A big third down play there for the Jags. 48 yards. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Stidham. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. They go play action now. Stidham under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Stidham. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. Just too many mistakes in all phases of the game still. You've got a chance to get this back to a one-score game here in the third quarter. You've got to be able to convert here. Instead, it comes up empty. So out come the Falcons now. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Fair catch called for right around the 11 yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And he'll be taken down at the 18. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's quickly out wide to Davis. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. That's to Schoonmaker, the tight end. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And our game's hit a little bit of a wall here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Wilson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. Up the middle, Jones. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Wilson. Airing this one out for Evans. And it's knocked away. Incomplete. There is something to a game plan. We're trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Oh, 
And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out? Touchdown, Jaguars! Joe Mixon, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. On first and ten, it's Wilson. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Second and seven from the 20. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up the third down. He's having a big game running the football, but that will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, I think. Welcome back now here in London. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On third down, Wilson. Got a man open, it's Chase. And he is going to have the Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Now Wilson. Open man downfield is Chase. He's to the 15. Touchdown Falcons. Jamal Chase. 77 yards. And the Falcons use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive of four plays, and it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. So after the penalty, here's second and three. 
Here's Stidham to throw. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now it's Stidham. This complete to Lockett. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 47-yard line. Stidham. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Jamar Chase hoping to be at center stage yet again as the offense returns to the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people that have big games as well. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And inside give to Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Now we're going to get a timeout here for an injured player, and that's Jamar Chase, who is in some obvious discomfort right now. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They begin with a run by Mixon. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. To throw is Stidham. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Fifth catch in the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Stidham's throw into the hands of Lockett. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now it's Stidham. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's now second and ten. A 
again, Stidham. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. They'll look to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On first down, Stidham. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Stidham's throw going to be caught by Davis. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Stidham going back to the air. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make the play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. On third and goal, Stidham. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, Three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Gonzalez's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And these guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down, and the goal... Mm -hmm. End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you start. Sammy Watkins, he's gonna go! The Jaguars gonna go ahead and use their first timeout. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Jones running on first down, but finding it pretty tough going as he'll get forward for only about three there before he's taken down. This is Evans to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. He completes this one to Mingo. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And they take a knee. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game. His third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They'll come up first and 10 here. Stidham. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Give a big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Stidham. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And brought down, but not before he gets a good gain of first down, up shy of the 40. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. But what a performance. All those points put on the board. And Charles, it wasn't just by the offense. The defense put some points on the board as well. They were solid today. Yeah, it was a complete effort to secure the win. And both sides of the ball made big plays. But how demoralizing is it when the opposing defense can take one all the way back against you? And that was the case here. That really sparked them to victory. So for Atlanta, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, they'll sink now to 0 and 4. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.